Welcome. My name is Missy and this is a new Lenten program. Most days, not necessarily every day, but most days during the week, I will read a short passage, be it from the gospel or some other spiritual book that I have, uh, a short passage, and then uh, prayer time. I will pray a soaking prayer where you're invited to just sit and listen and relax and soak in the Holy Spirit. Um, I'll be praying whatever the Holy Spirit brings to mind. And some of it might be uh, on the reading and some of it may not be. The reading will be short. It will be about three or four or five minutes. And the prayer will probably be a, a bit longer, more like 10 minutes. So total around 15 minutes or so. Uh, I'm so glad you're here to listen. I hope that you draw closer to the Lord with me this Lent. This is uh, why I'm doing this project, because I need to turn away from the world, from all those things that are distractions, and I need to turn closer to God. So I'm sharing that as, uh, as a journey, w turning closer to God. And I thank you for listening, and I hope that you draw closer to the Lord also, God bless. This morning I'm reading from a book called He and I by Gabrielle Bossi. And Jesus visits and talks with this woman. And this was in the 1940s in France. And it's written like a diary. October 7th, I was thanking him for having spared me the bombing. October 7th, 1943. Always thank me. I give you so much. If I were to give you a trial, would you thank me? You should. I do everything for the good of, for the good of souls. Never doubt this. And believe in my love. Hope in my love. Love my love. If you love my love, you will welcome everything that comes from me, and you will act everywhere for me. If you hope in my love, you will no longer count on yourself. You will expect my help in every difficult situation. You will think, I can't do anything, but there is nothing the beloved can't do. And full of trust and peace, you will take up your task of love again, happy to toil day and night to console me. If only I were sure that I consoled him, you say. But keep in mind that I am man as well as God, and you may comfort me as one comforts a man. Don't be surprised at setbacks. You were made for rest in heaven, not on earth. So get used to living for eternity, for nothing has the slightest importance in time that does not count for eternity. Judge everything in me and by me. My judgments are not always yours. Let the compassion of my heart flow through you to all who come near to you. Let them see in your smile, in your way of welcoming them. Oh, these contacts with others, how much good can come from them. But implant my name in your heart like a banner. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for this time. Thank you for this Ash Wednesday morning as we start this Lenten journey. Help us, Lord, draw closer to you in love. 
Help us, Lord, as you said in those words, love your love and hope in your love and hope in you. Lord, we all have plans and thoughts for this Lenten journey, and so we bring them to you. We offer them to you in love, whatever they may be. Help us be humble. Help us be humble in our aspirations this Lent. Help us offer up to you everything that we do, everything we give up, everything we take on, anything, Lord, that we desire. Put the desire in our heart to do for you. Help us be humble, as you said, that we can do nothing, but our beloved can do everything. Oh, Jesus, implant this hope in our heart that you are always there, always ready to do everything for us. Implant this trust in our heart that we can count on you to be there. That everything you do is for our good. Let us trust, Lord. Give us the grace to trust most deeply when things are hard, when there is suffering, that you mean it for our good and that we are to thank you, not only in the good times, but in the hard times that we are to see everything that happens in this life coming from your hand and to thank you for it. Lord, give us the grace to turn to you throughout the day and thank you. And thank you. Remind us, Lord, because we forget we go about our busy days. Lord, remind us often to turn to you. Give us a nudge. Give us, let our angels nudge us and let the Holy Spirit nudge us to refocus on you as we go about our days. Just a quick, my beloved Jesus, just to say your name, Jesus. just to take a short visit with you, a short break, a short time, turning to you and opening our hearts to you, letting you touch us, letting you come into that moment of our life, letting us open our hearts to you, for you to pour in grace, to help us continue in our day and all we do for our families and for our work and our communities and our friends. Lord, you want us to take you out to the world, as you said. You want us to show you to others through us. Give us the grace, Lord, to do that. Give us the grace to live in your love, to immerse ourselves in your love, and then to carry that love out into the world. Give us the grace, Lord, to do that now, today, this Lent, this year, always. The world needs you, Lord. We need you, Lord. Pour down from heaven, Lord, every grace and blessing 
that you have for us. Every healing that we need, Lord, from the top of our heads to the bottom of our feet, I ask that you pour it down, Lord, upon us now. You know everything we need, Lord. You know our circumstances. So, Lord, please meet our deepest needs today. This is the day we have, Lord. This is the day that you made for us. Be with us. Meet our deepest needs in this day. Lord, I, I pray for all those who are listening, all those who might ever hear these prayers, that you will touch them, that you will bring them everything they need, Lord, that you will bring them healing in every way, that you will pour out your presence, pour out your Holy Spirit into their lives and into their hearts and into their families. Thank you, Lord, that we get to set aside time for prayer, time for you. Call us to prayer often, Lord. Give us the grace to remember to turn to you often in prayer. For we need you, Lord. We need you in our lives. We need your presence, your loving presence. Lord, surround us with your love. Let your Holy Spirit fill us up so that we are never lacking in you so that we may be filled to overflowing and can pour you out Lord out to the world the world who desperately needs you Lord we who desperately need you Lord thank you for Lent Lord I know it's a time some of us struggle with. Perfectionism may creep in, or self-despair or disgust may creep in. But Lord, we just want to journey with you. We just want to be with you. Help us do that. Help us be with our beloved every minute of the day, every breath, every heartbeat. Jesus, you are our rock, you are our savior, you are our redeemer. We praise you, Lord, and we give you glory. And we worship you, Lord. We adore you. We praise your holy name. Hide us, Lord, in your sacred heart. We ask all of this, Jesus, in your name. Amen.